these laptops sitting there waiting for a new owner. Found an old console television and took it apart. I need another Wi-Fi. I've got to get my class. I got like two cyber security. I used to throw these away. Now they're well. They're, actually, they're going down in price now. They used to be. You, you find them on eBay for three hundred, two, three hundred bucks. But. Hey, that's cool. Oh, look at all these, all these laptops sitting there waiting for a new owner. Well, this must be the second one. Right. Do I have that one? to the AMC theater. Yeah. I really would. I Yeah, so I guess they must have moved out. They're moving back. The reason I saw this post, right. so you must be, must be opening one. So right. that'll exactly. be fun. Have a new PC store. To Absolutely. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that would be neat. All something that I could, you know, tinker with and restore or something like that. But like a a, a real mechanical an one, an authentic, yeah, an authentic not not a video poker or anything. Exactly right. All mechanical. I mean, it could have a computer that controls it, but I want it to be moving spools. So. Yeah. The... <laughs> Yeah. I'm you know, getting used to yeah. being have, wearing coats inside a lot, things like that. Yeah. For a while, we'll end the ports of the I looked up the HDMI standard finally, I was just curious one day about it. It's uh -huh. actually really interesting. It's nineteen pins. The data transmission format is this special it's a special format where they try to minimize the number of transitions so that it has the least amount of, of electromagnetic interference on the line. They call it um, transition limited or transition restricted. Restricted. I had no idea that it was so complicated. There's uh, Ethernet over HDMI. One of the pins is devoted to that. <laughs> Dollar a foot. Dollar a foot. Did you get a foot dollar? You can have one LED if you want. One for a dollar a foot. You can have one LED. Watched a YouTube video a few weeks back about the invention of the blue LED. Oh yeah, a fascinating story about this guy, this Japanese guy that. Oh, right, Nichia yeah, Chemical, yeah. Exactly. Yep. And his struggle of defying his bosses and, and and believing in making blue LEDs out of what is essentially sandpaper. Yeah. Silicon carbide. Sandpaper. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. It's incredible. And he made had some, you know, progress and some setbacks and you know, things yeah, were kinda working and he was like, Okay, if I could just if I could just you know, he was the breakthrough that allowed for super bright blue LEDs and all the white LEDs. Yeah, Cree research had made blue LEDs, and I bought one, but they were very dim. They couldn't produce any kind of real output. But they were still they were pretty. It was very pretty, but it was like the very first blue LEDs were very dim. And so I had been following the Chia 
And as soon as I could, I ordered a bunch of blue LEDs and ultraviolet LEDs from them. I had to sign a, a waiver. In order. You know what? I've been looking for some of this. The perfect lenses with it because it would start beeping in the back pocket. But oh, wait a minute. You didn't see very well. But... Fair enough. People eat silicon gel. There's a Vsauce made one that you can have them. Or he did it and he's just eating them. No, that's and he's just killing people. Which is funny. That's hilarious. Good for him. I'm so sorry, but you understand. Did you like yes, I okay. absolutely understand. That's good. We're on the same <laughs> Today, it's already So there was a book I read a while back, read, you know, listened to, Yes. Uh, called 4,000 Weeks. Oh, I've heard of the book. I haven't it's read it. It's fantastic. Is it? It really, it really helped me understand. Um, um, it helped, it just helped me understand that, you know what, I'm, I gotta live for now. I gotta live for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of the stories it tells in the book is about, you know, this businessman goes on vacation and he meets this fisherman down in Mexico, right? Right. Who fishes a little bit each day and then he, and then he, you know, in the afternoon he eats and drinks and plays music with his friends and and the businessman talks to him and says, why don't, why don't you just, why don't you work hard, get, you know, get, get, high, you know, uh, make more money and... Uh, hire some more people and expand your business. Right. Uh, and then, and then, you can delegate that all the way, and then you can spend all of your time eating and drinking and playing music mm -hmm. with your friends. He's like, well, but that's what I do now. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting. So, I mean, just sort of, you know, other other things about, you know, just being able to, I don't know, just a good book. It's, you know, to recognize that's cute. You know, that we do only have forty thousand weeks. Four thousand. Four thousand, whatever it is. And then you don't want eighty years, right? You don't wanna You can't waste save them it. for the future. Right. Because they you may know, never be here. Like, yeah, the table yeah, will have oh, 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 so oh, oh, Look at this old rectifier. Wow. Or load resistor. Wow. What is this thing? It's a load. It's like a... Oh, it's a resistor. Load. Yeah. You can pump 150 watts of RF into it. Oh my god. I do. Probably from a submarine or something. We used to have this company. They probably they probably still come by. They test our, uh, test our generators. Oh, uh -huh. And they have a flatbed truck with... With basically giant, giant resistors and fans on it, and they put it under a load. And I thought, why the fuck don't they come with a thousand pounds of batteries and charge them at least? Right, charge them or a thousand, you know, a bunch of equipment and process a bunch of, you know, corn or something with the electricity. Yeah. But they just they just turn it all into heat and go on about their business and heat just. And okay. Okay. Uh, but I rebuilt that. Uh, I rebuilt one out of an old TV. Uh huh. And uh, did a mod like that and got the fluff floppy drive working and everything working like that. And, 
It's fun. It's pretty cool, but a similar thing to this, right? It yeah. would be really cool. Yeah, really cool it's such a great case. Yep. It is. Yep. Yeah, the fact that you can just... You I know, I know. Yeah. It's, yeah, I, I, you know, yeah. This, the, the CX, the CI, and the, and the 700, just awesome. Of course, the 700 was oriented, so it would be tower right, so right. flat. It's, right. it's a slightly different case, right? Very slightly different, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the only one that's like This one has the feet, right? Or two of the feet. Yeah, oh, two, two of the feet. feet. I've got all yeah. four at home. Yeah, the fact that they can go on the bottom of these things. Yeah, when actually, when I picked it up, there was there was liquid on one of them. I'm like, oh, oh you know yeah, what? I bet you course. that's the battery. And the, you know how it's all metalized on the inside? Yeah. There's like a whole section of this corner yeah. that all of the metalization has been yes. disappeared yeah. from the off-gassing. Right, right. Oh, wow. And then uh, <clears throat> the, the, the battery holder this just it, wasn't like, even connected to the... I'm trying to remember. Was this the, did this have a lithium battery? Yeah, it's got the three, the three point, battery it's goes, got the three point it's six. Really nasty. It's got the three point six volt battery right yes, down here. Yes, I took it out. And you have to you have to pull the slide yep. the, and then you have to take the screw out, take yep. this out carefully without cracking everything. Without cracking. And then you gotta do that battery. I'm pretty oh, wow. sure I took that out. I'm, I'm almost positive I did. I hope when so. the lithiums go, I mean the alkalines go, they're bad, right? They, those can ruin a board easily too. But when the yeah. lithiums go, it's catastrophic. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Nightmare. Unsolder that thing and put a CR two uh, three oh uh, two oh thirty two yeah, in I've there. Got a, I've started making adapters that I'm going to yeah. sell, but I lost the parts. Too. They're in the garage somewhere. But I started making adapters that'll just slot in there. Perfect. Yeah. Have a good day. See you.